this matchup is definitely rough. Combo food, easy to edge guard. He's slow and neutral, so Peach can just like overwhelm him. But of course, as you all should know, once Ganon gets those three, four hits on you, he can just explode his stock. So let's see. The classic Pokemon Stadium game one probably didn't even, you know, stage track to this at all. He just agreed to start on the stage. Ooh. Yeah, he's already starting off pretty behind, but again, like, Ganon, man. <laughs> Ganon hits so hard. Like, even that dash that he just connected, like, that just hurts so much. Even though he didn't get, like, the following up, follow up uh, up air after it, he put. Uh, Solux in a bad spot. Could potentially. I like, got an earlier stock as well. So, uh, I don't know. These guys are going pretty even. Nice down to that shield. Something else. Oh, why do you put himself at the legs? Oh, look at him. He's just throwing out all the nares. Ooh, I was going to say that. Yeah. I was looking for that big command grab from Ganon. Is you see how far he grabbed him from at the, at the ledge? He was almost a whole character away. And, like, yeah, once Ganon can condition you to shield, which he is going to do, because you are scared of these aerials. You just get that command grab out. So yeah, great stuff. Lord Behind me getting the first lock, but big edge guard. Nice turn up snipe on Ganon. Super explorer recovery. We do take those all day. Nice though. Sweet spot back here. Lord Behind me looks really comfortable when he's putting Solex at the ledge. But oh, Solex got these combos. And that's what you want to see. If you're playing Daisy and Peach in tournament, you, you gotta have those combos, man. What's the point of playing? Peach and Daisy if you don't do 40 plus percent off a of down tilt. Oh. Okay. Catches the turnip with the nares. Probably the best case scenario for him. Because if that turnip hit him while he had no jump, probably could have just died off stage. Oh yeah. That forward air is so satisfying to hit. Oh, guys. Got the tech chase? No, a little bit too slow. But yeah, I'll, you always want to love. Oh, nice. Back there. Yeah, you always love to see when Ganondorf get those flame chokes because you get put in a text situation you start panicking and they get a read on where you're going to go get so much percent so again lord bahamut taking the stock before solex nice nair to hit the turn up out of his way but he's going high now yeah solex is saying i don't care just get sniped bro <laughs> he's just he's like yeah that was great how you neared my first turn up but i can just keep pulling them all day and now it's going to be a zero to 59 percent <laughs> combo there Great stuff. Solex not letting Lord Bahamut play the game for like five seconds, doing tons of percent. Oh, man. Both hits of Nair from Ganon just like so crunchy. Like the sound effects, like when you get hit by it, you just feel like you're getting blown up and kind of is getting blown up right now. He's waiting so patiently. Oh, my God. Oh. Nice! He tried to punish that. You couldn't, though. Shield drop in this game takes forever. Lord Bahamut taking the first game. Oh, I love how patient he was at the ledge. He was just standing there. Baited him with a little bit of movement. Got that down smash on shield. They just kicked him with the boot. The DOS boot, as you guys like to call it. Great stuff. Lord Bahamut taking that first game over. Solex is Daisy. Tell you, man, this guy is solo playing Ganon for all this time. You, you don't sleep on him when he's in bracket, dude. You just don't. Doesn't matter if Ganon's bad. All right. Second time we're getting a Town and City counter pick from a Peach. There must be something uh, I'm missing here. I don't. I don't really know why it's a great stage for it, to be honest. But again, Solex showing he's super consistent with his combos. Like he's gotten 40 percent off a of down tilt every time. Ooh. Off stage now? What are you gonna do about this turnip snipe? Nah, he went to center stage though. Yeah, I thought he would throw it off stage a little bit earlier, and that allowed Lord Bahamut to get back on stage, do tons of percent, and uh, <laughs> he's already got Daisy at kill percent, man. Power up Ganon, ooh. There it is again, he's throwing these smash attacks while he's shielding at the ledge because he knows it's really difficult to punish out of shield. Okay. Oh, no, he's not giving that flame choke he wants. But he's still applying tons of pressure, getting right in that danger zone where Ganon wants to keep throwing out these hitboxes. 
Don't jump into my feet. Lord Bahamut again taking the first stock. And I love how he keeps narrowing while he's throwing the turn. So he's like catching the turn up and hitting him at the same time. 27%. Oh. Oh my god. Look, he just doesn't care about these turn up tosses. Yeah, this is like when Ganon starts playing aggressive on you like this and he's slow, like he's not afraid to run at you. That's how you know they're confident. Look at that, dude. Got the bagger. Oh my god. <laughs> Ooh, the conditioning. Conditioning no shampoo, man. That's crazy. He got that neutral get up, up neutral get up a mile away, man. When someone hits I'm sorry, I'm sorry, so like when you get up tilted in bracket, especially on stream, I, I don't know. It might be over, man. The mental damage might be too strong. No, I'm just kidding. Let, let's see, let's see Solex come back. Oh my god, he almost got shield. Okay. Boy Harvey is going nuts right now. He, he almost got a shield break with the down B. With a, a confident Ganon like this is it, just it's too scary. Ooh! Up smash. Big up air. Is he dead? Yeah, he chased his landing like he was. Like he was fighting a CPU, dude. And he just gave him the quick fist bump. The quick fist bump. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like that. I like that a lot. The king of evil, man. Sent Peach back to her 